What's going on, everybody? Hey, you guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. Yes. We're super excited to be sitting with you again. Hallelujah. We so, we've been talking about bearing fruit, and it's God's desire for you to bear fruit in your life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We've been talking about... Rachel, uh, the last couple uh, broadcasts, we talked about how Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And the number one way he mm -hmm. begins to get us to go away from what God, the simplicity of what God has spoken to us, that he wants us to bear fruit in our lives, is by destructive doctrines, by explaining away right. the word. Yeah. He's not doing anything new the same way he went after Adam and Eve, the same way he's going after us, praise Jesus. Yeah. And so we've got to stand against that. Now... Well, we, one thing we want to do right now is is define a little bit. What is fruit? We see like uh, John 15, 8, Jesus said that he desires for us to bear fruit in our lives. And it is through this that God is glorified. And it's through this fruit that's bared in our life that we prove that we're actually disciples of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. That the world gets to see it, that we get to see it and experience it. So what is this fruit? And the number one thing we want to talk about is God has finances for you okay but it is also <laughs> important i believe to define the fact that if you think of fruit and i and i bring this up rach yeah. because we as human beings in a facebook instagram type world okay and we're on social media so we're not against using those things but you do have to guard your heart because so many things are puffed up to where yeah just if you hear fruit, you automatically think just just things. And that, and that gets a little bit twisted because let me read these scriptures. This is Luke chapter 12, verses 13, starting in verse 13. It says, someone in the crowd, uh, in, from the crowd said, teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But Jesus said to him, man, who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you? And Jesus said to them, take care and be on your guard against all covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And it's important to see that God has promises for us financially, right? I mean, he has things to bring yeah. forth. And so one of the fruits is a, a financial blessing, blessing yeah. financial uh, freedom, these types of things, uh -huh. so that we can actually accomplish what God's called yeah, us to do. Yeah, absolutely. But you cannot look at like financial freedom, financial blessing, mm -hmm. financial prosperity, and just equip it to things. Yeah. Because then you'll be seeking things. And Jesus said that we're not supposed to be seeking the things. We're supposed to be seeking God. And then all these things yep. will be added to us. Yes. And I think it's so important because sometimes I get pegged as being this or, or saying this, or I fit into this group. But when I'm talking about fruit, I'm talking about fruit in every area of your life. So again, yes, God has finances everything you need financially to accomplish the will of God and more abundance. He is a loving, kind God. However, if you get to seeking the thing and looking at like, just yeah. if, if I get things, then I'm fruitful and I can yeah. just relax. That would be wrong because no. you could, you know, there's lots of ways to get money in this earth. There's lots of people who are not serving God yeah. who have money and that's not fruitfulness. So we need to define fruit rage as it, although it touches every area of our life, it's coming forth and it's for a purpose. Yes, Amen? absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And it says, you know, the kingdom of God is in righteousness, yes. peace and joy mm -hmm. in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay, so those are the things we should first be desiring Amen. to see in our life, isn't Amen. it? We should first have this desire to be like, wow, Lord, I want to have peace. Sometimes I am so shocked. There are so many people. This is why you have to separate. Mm -hmm. God wants me blessed. But does this financial thing bring the kingdom into my life? <laughs> does it bring righteousness, peace, and joy really in the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Because me and Willie personally know, I know Willie had a friend that was writing him that's super wealthy. Mm -hmm. Marriage is falling apart. Family is falling apart. It's like, I just, I'm so, I'm like, I cannot be happy. I just mm -hmm. feel this hole in my heart. Mm -hmm. So we have to make that separation. Yeah. And we have to seek first the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. Amen. Right? And then those things are added to us like that. But seeing the fruit that we want in our mm -hmm. life is, is something tangible that people lay hold of in our character, Amen. in our emotions, in our physical lives. That, that when they see us, we don't respond the same way. Mm -hmm. We don't react the same way as the world does. We actually have fruit in our life. People are yep. like, wow. Yeah. You know, that person was so rude to them. Mm -hmm. That person treated them so badly mm -hmm. and they just did not respond like how Amen. I would have thought they would have responded. Amen. 
Those are the things we need to desire and Amen. like be like, yes, Lord, I want that in my life. Amen. And there's a there's an exact reason why, like in uh, Matthew chapter six, I believe it is, yeah, verse thirty three says, Jesus said, "Seek first the kingdom of God and mm-hmm. His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you." Talking, he was talking specifically of finances, of the things we need in this mm-hmm. earth. Praise God. Uh, there's a reason of that for that, and that is the fact that there's really no end to what God wants to get to you. Yeah. What I mean by that is. You know, if you if you're walking down the path of God and you begin to prosper a lot and bring forth a lot, you don't need to be looking at your life and saying, "Okay, now I can stop." No, no, no. I was never yeah. seeking these things in the beginning. Right. I'm seeking first the kingdom, and so as more flows into your life, you're able to let more flow out of your life. Praise God. And as long as you're seeking the kingdom, mm-hmm. it is a perfect balance to being able to control finances yeah. and those finances not control you. Yeah. Because things like righteousness, peace, and joy, which we're going to get into talking more. About, about this fruit that God wants in your life, those specifics. If you look at, okay, Lord, just get these finances to me and then I'll have uh, peace and joy in my life. That's a, that's an improper balance. The end you are weighing your life according to finances and God does not want that for you. That's actually not fruit at all. That's just being like the world. The world views happiness through finances. Number one, praise God. God desires for you to be living through a power packed connection with him to where he is bringing things into your life. And if he wants them flowing out of your life, Mm. you're fine with that because you were never seeking those things. You were never viewing those things as your life. Paul said it this way in uh, first Timothy chapter six, he said, we brought, it is certain, we brought nothing into this world and we can carry nothing out. Yep. So while God does want to give mm-hmm. lots of things flowing to us and through us, it is so important, Rachel, that we're not judging our life. And if we have money, we're saying I'm fruitful. And if, we, if we're in a building period where we don't maybe have abundance right, right now, that we're saying we're unfruitful. You got to put this way. Jesus said that a man's life does not, uh, what did he say? Let me read this again. Mm-hmm. So sorry. He said, Take care and guard of all covenants for one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. You just, it's just saying you can't weigh where you are right. just because you have money or don't have money right now. Mm-hmm. You need to be seeking first the kingdom and allowing those things to flow to oh you. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Amen. You guys, it's so important because in our own hearts, if we have this off scale balance, mm-hmm. it's amazing how we can feel like, wow, that person must be so spiritual I know, because right? they have things and Jesus all the while is saying yeah that's not the right scale Mm -hmm. to be weighing yourself on the thing that you want to do is be finding personal growth Mm -hmm. personal fruit that is abounding in your life in your family's life in your children's life those and these are really the things that we need to be sharing with other believers you know what I mean is the fact that like if I'm in the workplace Mm -hmm. And my coworker is struggling in life. Mm-hmm. I'm not just going to be like, yeah, you know what? Believe God for money. Mm. Like that would be weird. Mm-hmm. But if I'm like, you know what? God loves you. He sent Jesus to be peace mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. In Christ, there's peace. Yeah. In Christ, there's joy and help mm-hmm. through this situation. See, as the fruit grows in our life, mm-hmm. we begin to be um, a, a minister of that now mm-hmm. to other people. Amen. Amen. And that's really what the Lord was talking about. Yeah. He wants to, in, in our witnessing should be connecting people who has like what Rachel's talking about, connecting people to who God is mm-hmm. as a, as a loving father. And those promises, we shouldn't just be quoting promises like, well, God can do this for you. Well, that's great. But who is this God yeah. and begin to inject who God is into them, bring them to know the Lord, bring them to where they're no longer on the outside side trying mm-hmm. to believe God or pray God down something rather than seeing themselves as a branch of the yeah, vine receiving. and now yes. they're bearing fruit because they're a child of God right and connect we're connecting to the vine we are connecting to him and bringing that life into our life Amen. and then inputting it and diffusing it into the world around Absolutely. us you guys all right we love you and we will see you next time see you guys